Hey YouTube, what is up everybody? This is your homeboy Seth McDonald 4. I just want to say this, uh, I went to my ear appointment and my ear appointment went good. Um, I got my ears cleaned out and everything was okay other than I still have a hole in my ear to left eardrum and basically the doctor said the hole is so stable um, and it hadn't gotten worse or anything where I don't need an operation, which is a good thing. Um, another thing is is that um, be filling out my ass assessment sheet for my property taxes for this coming year. Um, something new I have never done uh, on living on my own before, so I'm. Um, Gonna go down to my grandpa's, get that filled out and everything. And I'm just glad I got my ears clean. I feel a whole lot better. You know, I don't have to go haunt every time when somebody talks or whatever. I mean, I can hear shit a mile away now. Huh? It was like I'm like that green Mechian off of uh, Dragon Ball Z now because I have that super hearing now. Huh? But I'm the same. But it's just I feel a whole lot better now. Since I have my ears clean, um, then Friday after I get off work, I'll probably get me a haircut. Then I'll probably end up paying, I'll have to pay my car insurance, get that taken care of. You know, bills are always priority more than anything else, um, before anything else you do in life because you gotta set goals, priorities, and you gotta be able to take care of the things you need to get done. And that's the thing that I always discuss in my videos. You can't always put things off till tomorrow. Or to the very last minute. Because, and if you do, you pay the penalty for it. So, you gotta learn to, you know, make choices, better choices in life to overcome the toughest obstacles that you may achieve in. Because you never want to be late. You never want to get charged with a fine on something where you have to end up paying a late fee or anything like that. And if you end up paying a late fee on something, that just ruins your credit. You know, I hate to say that, you know, that is true your credit, you know, and all of that when you pay late on things. Me, I always like to pay things ahead of time. That way I know it's going to be paid for, get taken care of, and I know it's going to not mount to anything. And so once I get all my bills paid, you know, I, whatever is left that I have in money, I can go and use it to spend on, have fun with, do whatever with, you know, spend it wisely, of course, but it's just, like I said, you know, priorities come first before all the fun stuff, and most people have that backwards, and I don't understand that, and to me, I always think, you know, first of, um, my priorities first before anything else, and that's just how I was taught, that's how I was raised, and that's how I'll always be raised, is that when I was younger, I was always taught priorities to get your things done first, what you need to get done, so holding it off tomorrow. Because, you know, you never know. There never might, there might not even be a tomorrow. So you never know when the last day is. So that's the reason why I always tell people to always do it the day of. Don't put it off till the next day. Don't wait till the next week to put it off. Do it now. Be creative. Do something creative. Don't put it off to tomorrow. Just get it done. You know, that's all I gotta say. You know, it's just that, you know, my job's, my job's kind of been stressing me out a little bit. But it's because of work issues and whatever, you know. Just same old problems, same old crap. And it's just pretty much, I just wanted to say, you know, um, no matter what type of day you have, always say something positive because even though know, the workplace gets to me, I always think something positive, you know, at least I can have a roof over my head, I have food, food on the table at night, you know, at least I'm not homeless or anything like that. And I have some friends that support me behind my back and especially when I'm mad at work or when I'm pissed off at work or something like that and just people... Tennessee, they can tell when I'm upset or when I'm down, and usually 9 out of 10, 
they know a little bit about me, which I don't really try to show too much. I don't really try to express my feelings. Because I try to be a man. I try to be a man and just man up and deal with it. But when I get pushed too much, then it's just like, okay, then my face expression starts to show. Um, attitude starts to show. And so it, it just shows and they know I'm pissed off. It's because usually when they know I'm pissed off about something, then I'm usually quiet. My ears get red. My face gets red because I'm mad. Um, today I about blacked out um, due to being so mad and irritated at my workplace. Um, but I didn't. I didn't really let the rage control me. But if I get to the point where if I do get mad like that, usually I do blank out. I don't know why, but it's just the rage that just takes control over me. And I just don't know really what to do with it. Um, I try, you know, going to doctors about it, and therapists about it. Um, that they don't help. And the thing is, it's just that, you know, he's got to learn just to deal with it and just go on with life and just, you know, Try to learn a couple of things a little bit better. Um, I've been reading on Masashi, The Way of Walking Alone, um, The Kudo. Um, I learned something out of this on the first chapter, and which was very, very weird. You know, after having a stressful morning, stressful day before, and I was just like, Okay, I just gotta accept things as is. And let's go on. Let's learn to accept things as is and just go on. Um, you can never change it. And that's that's what I need to learn to do at my job. It's to, it's to learn to accept things as is. So just, you know, let it get to me too much. And uh, that's what I learned out of the Masashi Dukudo the way of walking alone and everything else and it's just sad you know it's just sad that I had to read it out of a book just to get my own advice back to me that I've always been telling everybody you know just accept things as it is you know you can never change the outcome of things you know and just learn from the experience you had on the stuff that you're doing and just learn from your mistakes and that's how you improve and I think I've improved so much, you know, at my job. And I've learned not to take any bull from anybody now. Um, but it, it, it just goes with the territory, you know. Sometimes, you know, if you take too much bull crap, then sometimes you just leash it back at them. And, and that's the thing. It's just that, you know, sometimes you can only take, only take so much and everything else. And, um... And that's sad, you know, most people in Tennessee to quit after, I want to say the first week they get hired on, and well me, I've been there for three years, and they all know me really well, they know how I get, they know how I am, they know what I'm about, and, and I'll state my opinion, and if they don't like it, oh well, they'll be mad at me for a while, and then, then they'll start talking to me. So, it's just, it is what it is. Um, I really try not to really be too down about it. I just, there are times I do get mad. It's just, I just don't know who to really go to when I do. Because I feel like I can't really trust anybody around there. Because if I open up and say something to somebody about it, then it's like, then... I get stabbed in the back, or um, I get looked up down on, and which to me that's not right. And then another thing is, is that I feel like right now the way things are going, I feel like they're kind of treating me like I have a disability a little bit, and you know which I do. You know I'm not gonna lie, but really technically. Um, 
I do have rods in my back, I do have feet, club feet. So, yeah, I do have a disability. But, they just don't think I'm smart enough. Well, if they don't think I'm smart enough, if I wasn't smart enough, I wouldn't be able to read these type of books. And learn from them. And, which, it kind of irritates me when a job looks down upon you as being, as being classified student. That's just how I feel. And when we're all adults, and we're not kids, you know, and we make mistakes, you know, I own up to my mistakes. I own up to my mistakes. I don't let, you know, I don't blame it on the other person. I'm always honest. And I always try to be honest around my workplace. And honesty gets you a thousand miles ahead. That's how I always see it. And, but it's just how you look at it, that's the thing. And I just don't understand why always the good guys always get bullied on at a workplace or one of the strongest workers always gets bullied on at a workplace and they tend to see to not really issue the problem. Well, the person don't want to be the snitch. Well, I don't want to be a snitch because I want to be a man about it and not try to do, try to get, not get anything in trouble, anybody in trouble, and, you know, it's just, this and that, it's just, it's just drama. That's all it is. But it's just that I just, I love like I said, I learned something out of this book and on the first chapter, and it didn't take me long to learn something out of it. I just need to start learning this stuff thing as is. Even though I'm not really happy with my job um, that I do. But I just gotta learn to accept it as is. But I could probably look for something else if I really wanted to. But I really don't want to look for something else because it's closer to home. And I don't have to drive very far. And if I would have and if I would happen to Get a different job. I'd probably have to drive away two miles out just to get a different job. And even though they are hiring everywhere like crazy right now, uh, plus with better pay. Um, but the thing with this is not full time. It's always part time. And I've already have insurance, and then I get the weekends off. That's the reason why I don't really want to quit my job. Um. But do I really like my job? I can honestly say no. Um, am I happy at my job? No. Um, I get my ins and ups and downs about things that you guys probably don't even really care about. But <laughs> I just gotta give a little update what's going on in my life and which I'm trying to stay positive. You know, be a Greatest, by the greatest uh, wisdoms of the Masashi, Masashi, Miyoto Masashi, the greatest legendary swordsman ever lived, and he goes Japan by his wisdoms, and the art of war, uh, Sun Tzu's, um, and the um, Masashi, the Book of Fire Rings. Um, I try to get knowledge from his books, you know, to help me cope with everyday life, um, learning something new, and with Sun Tzu's The Art of War. Um, there's a saying called, uh, keep your friend, keep, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Basically, on what that means is that, you know, you need your enemies more, then you need your friends. That, I don't know really what that... I, I do know what that means, but it don't really make sense. You need your enemies more, but... Then you need your friends. Well, I do kind of see you need your enemies more because you have something to strive for. 
you want to be better than your enemy. And the, but I also see a downfall of that because if you don't need your friends, well, you don't really have any friends. So it's a win, win, or lose situation. But I just don't know if it. This is this is a weird thing out of Sun Zeus on that part that I came to conclusion on. When he said, Yard Wars, keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. But basically, he's saying, You need your enemies, but not your friends. I'm like, What the hell? <laughs> but I'm just saying, you know, it's just my thought, my opinion on the subject. But like I said, just train hard, train smart, um, just basically subscribe to my channel, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and then hit the bell notification on all videos, and I will talk to you later in the next video. I'm just glad I got my ears clean, my ears are healthy, and my eardrum doing okay now, um, not a real bad hole in it and everything, but I'm just giving you updates about my job, about me, what I'm, what I'm up to and stuff. Pretty soon we might, me and Al might spar. I'm trying to talk him into sparring. Um, and my student. So that might be later on down the road. I don't know yet. I'm just trying to get him to talk him into sparring because I want to spar somebody really, really bad. Um, to test my skill out. That's how I see it. You know, if you do martial arts, you need to spar. To be able to test your skill out. Uh, and that's the thing. And I can probably go to the nearest dojo and just bring my gloves and say, hey, I want to test your students out in Boston. And, and do it that way. And which is what it is. And like I said, it's just train hard, train smart, um, be yourself, and don't let nobody else tell you how to be in any way different. Just think positive, no matter how the outcome. I know I need to think more positive when I'm in my job. It's just, that's a whole other topic there for another day. And train hard, train smart, do your research, and 